<laughs> I love Jamaica. <laughs> I was born in a little village, tiny little village, up in the hills of um, Hanover. And the road goes through the village. The bus passes 6 o'clock in the morning and come back 6 o'clock in the evening. So if you miss it, that's it. <laughs> but you can stand in the middle of the road on top of the hill. And you can look to your right and you can see Lucy and Lucy Harbour and the boats that come in and so on. And if you look left, you look right down to the sugarcane plantations of Westmoreland. And it's, it's just absolutely amazing place to be born and to grow up. And um, it has everything. It has coffee, it has cocoa, it has breadfruit, it has banana. It has yams, pineapples, custard apple, uh, jackfruit, you name it, it's there. And as a child, my grandfather, he was a peasant farmer. He grew everything, everything. And, you know, he had, he had a donkey called Birdie that he used to ride to work and back home from work. And we'd have to guess which pocket our favorite fruit was in. And my favorite was rose apple. So I'd have to go and search him as he came down the mountain top on birdie. I'd run to see which pocket would have the rose apples to get them out. Let her walk into the calmness of your hills. Show her the glow you've brought to leaves, the blush to ripening fruit. Sit her in your sun trap. Be the passing wind, teasing, pushing the long grass to rub and scratch against her fertile skin. Uh, I, I couldn't think of a more wonderful place to grow up. The people were loving and kind and all the children were treated like they were the children of all the people. And uh, we had a little Sunday school and uh, we had a little basic school that was held same place that the Sunday school was held. And that's where I went to school from. I was about, oh, two and a half, three. In the right on top of the hill, this was. Touch her softly. Be the juice of mellow mangoes running warmly from her mouth. Bathe her with cascading waters from your rock. Then melt into her earth. With tangy lime green touches bursting into deeper hues of blue, bursting into red orgasmic trends as you tongue your funky rhythms in her ears on funky days, tasting the sap of funky corners, washed out, spaced out, mellowed out, sitting in your sun trap where the mind meanders with the streams. I, I, I just love, the, love Jamaica. And I'm so happy. I keep on telling everyone that I'm really happy for three things. I'm very happy to whom I was born, because my mother is just an amazing woman. I'm very happy about um, when, I w w when I was born, but most of all, I'm happy about where I was born. Because to be born in Jamaica, in the 50s, to grow up with all the folk music and all the mental, and then to come through the 60s when the outside music started coming in. So I was listening to um, Nina Simone singing Young, Gifted and Black. And then, of course, the, the reggae was coming through at that time. So it would be um, Marcia Griffiths and Bob Andy singing Young, Gifted and Black. But that meant everything to all of us at the time. And then um, after that, it was the, 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 the 70s when reggae really came of age. And, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was a wonderful place to be born and a wonderful time to be born there. Yeah, Jamaica is fascinating. <laughs>